Hey guys, it's uh, Chef Third Eye Zoe here, and welcome to how to season, pre-season a turkey, and as well as how to do it infused. So we have here this turkey. Shout out to Publix with such a great sale. And then, look how much I paid for this turkey. You'll never guess. Wow, $4.52. And this is 11.59 pounds, so... Thanks, Publix, for being reasonable, making sure families eat during this Thanksgiving season. Let's start with the ingredients. Of course, you need your turkey and, or what you need to make this meal. You need your turkey. You have a, two lemons, not one, but two lemons. And then a spatula, of course, to mix up the juices and the butter to get in there. I have this marinade creole as well as my injector, a bowl to put it in as well as the can of fusion butter that butter yes and um you don't need much else i got my uh sorry my knife too to cut this turkey so let's get started first thing you want to do is of course take the turkey out of all of this packaging look at that juice look at that juice you have to be mindful of that juice let me waste this juice right quick you don't need that juice. Not me, not you, not anybody. So, that lets you know that the bird is definitely thawed. And uh, another thing you need to make sure you understand before you even go through this process, you need to make sure that you let the bird thaw for at least a day. All right? So, look at that pretty bird. Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to show you some things just in case you didn't know. Some things you can do with the remnants, like the um, gristle or the the turkey neck and all that good stuff. Uh, some people like smoked turkey neck, so you know you can save it for that. I like to uh, repurpose food and not waste anything, so that's just a tip if you want it. As you can see here, they have the lock in for the bird, so that you can use it when you bake it, and you can keep that there for now. But I want to open this some. Um, and there's something else I need to show you, which is all the parts, the gizzards, and all that stuff that comes inside. And if you look in, even though I kept this out, for, uh, not out, but in the fridge, and then I took it out for 24 hours, you see some of that turkey neck is still kind of frozen. But once I take that out, then I have a bird I can stuff or not stuff. And I'm not stuffing these birds, so just know that. And normally I never stuff my bird. I don't like the, you know, um, I guess, I don't know, the stuffing out the bird, I've never liked that. So that's a personal choice. You do what you feel is right. So I'm gonna take these parts, and if you, if I open this up, and most turkeys have this in it. I don't know any, I've never bought one that doesn't. So what I use the turkey gizzards for, I cut them up real fine, and I make the gravy, you know? And then I smoke the turkey. So those are some ideas, just in case you threw yours away or whatever. How not can you not fix the turkey gravy with the turkey? You know what I'm saying? But hey, to each his own. So we're going to put that back there for now. The first thing we want to do once we get this bird open is to ensure there's no more liquids, which there's still a little bit of liquid left inside. So I'm going to pour that out. I'm making a little bit of a mess, and it's going to take a mess. I put some parchment paper down as well to catch any more of my messes. So that's just another tip. And then you see you have the backside of the bird good to go. And because of the salmonella scare, I'm going to make sure that I cook this precisely. That's why keeping the weight is important when you're going to fry turkey. This turkey is going to be fried. It's definitely not going to be baked. So now what we need to do is I'm going to put the bird to the side. I'm going to show you the mixture. It's going to be like one part of one. So, well, I'm sorry. Let me do this first. We're going to bring the bird back. We're going to cut up these lemons here. You see? Boom and boom. And be careful, it does matter. You don't want seeds in your turkey, but you do want to make sure you have a fresh turkey. So you just want to generously kind of squeeze these lemons around the turkey on all sides. Get it in there, get it in there, and even on the inside. You know what I'm saying? So that's one lemon. We didn't squeeze hard enough to put any seeds anywhere. So now we want to flip this bird. Yep, flip your bird. <laughs> ah, 
All right, and get that in there. You see a couple of uh, seeds came out. What are we gonna do? I'm talking about, I'm massaging this bird with the lemon because it's important. You know, it helps kill the bacteria and get it ready for baking and receiving the goodness of this, um, receiving the goodness of this seasoning. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, so yeah, we honey, we, we want to embrace this bird. We want to love this bird. We want to make sure it knows that it's love and we're sorry for what it had to go through so we can eat it. Um, yes, sorry for those who don't eat. And I'm a vegetarian, pescatarian, I guess, but today I'm eating, well, Thanksgiving day I'm eating turkey. You best believe it. I don't care. You can comment whatever you want at the bottom. And then another thing I forgot to say we had, but we need is this bag that after our season, we're going to put it, tie it up and put the turkey in it so it can sit overnight so then we can dunk that baby or deep fry however you want to do it make sure you stay safe in the kitchen keep your knives covered and put to the side so now again we're going to put that bird to the side just a tad i'm going to bring this in here and i'm going to make it i'm not doing anything measurement wise as far as like cups or whatever because i know my measurement but you see this size bowl Okay, I'm going to do kind of half and half. So I have half here, the Cajun injector seasoning. Of course, you want to shake that very well. And then I'm pouring that. Boom. That's halfway, right? Let's test it. See? Boom, boom, boom. You can't really see that's halfway, but <laughs> you get the drift. Put that to the side. Then, of course, my butter is so goddamn on thick. I got to shake, shake, shake it. Shake, shake, shake it before I put it in here. Now it's ready. And again, I'm putting half of that. This is the infusion part. See that? Mmm. Yes, and that smell itself. So now I've got the two butters mixed. Taking my spatula and I want to just mix it enough that I have a consistency of the two together. So now I have some can of fusion infused butter and some Cajun butter or creole butter and to be honest which is not really spicy it does have some sparks in it but it's a very good mixture so you know i do this and i'm having fried turkey uh free deliveries here at can of fusion so definitely thank you for all those who order you're not going to be disappointed and as you see you're seeing that your turkey is being loved <laughs> so now let's bring this turkey back into the picture you know what i'm saying and get her just ready. We got to get this injector. So the injector is still got the parts in it. I haven't used it yet. Put that in there. Boom, boom, boom. You see, make sure that it has that suction. So now what we want to do, and what's most important, is to get this in the turkey. So I'm going to take the needle. You see how much of that is going in? It's kind of tricky because I'm trying to do the camera thing and do this at the same time, but we're going to make it work. So now I take this, I start here with the legs because, you know, and I stick it into the meat. And you see how some of it came out? Then I didn't stick it in far enough. So now I'm sticking it in. You see it kind of getting bigger. So now I know where that butter's going. So once it solidifies, this butter's going to be in this whole area. So I don't need to do much more. In my leg that's gonna be a juicy leg so then I take this other leg and I do the same thing remember make sure your injector is all the way through and you see that turkey starting to swell up you're doing good so now it's time to get to these breasts whoo I'm normally not a breast person but you know get into these breasts Wow. take that right there put that in there you see how that's swelling up and you see how low I put it in the breast because I'm going to put some more in the top part. So again, you know, I'm doing all of this methodically for a reason. And make sure this injector needle that when you're trying to get some in there, you have enough room. I'm doing it and not putting it in there. So I'm going to do better the next time. Again, shooting up that breast in there. And then I got to get all my important parts first, you know before I go into the meat and potatoes or, you know, trying to catch up what I miss. So. Again, now I'm going towards the top of the bird in the same breast area. 
and giving it just a little here, just a little here. You saw that squirted out? <laughs> I love it. Any extra that squirts out, just rub it on the bird. And of course, you know, that helps once you get it in the oven anyway to make it brown. So it does nothing but good. Now, something a lot of people don't do, which makes a difference, is you take this needle and you take it inside the bird and you squirt. You don't just do it on the outside. You get inside. You get familiar with your bird. I'm telling you, it's going to make a difference in the taste. Watch what I tell you. Y'all going to thank me for this. Who's ever watching, trying to get these ideas? Yeah. So now, I guess the hardest part of this whole thing is making sure that the butter stays to warm type temperature, not too cold. Now I'm turning the bird around, and I'm going to do the wings. So I'm going to do a little bit here. Don't you love how my uh, butter just keeps squirting? And do a little bit there. Yeah. And then the same thing on the other side. Look how that just swells up once you put it in there. When I tell you this bird is going to be good from the rooter to the tutor. So now I did the breast on the other side. Now I have to do it on this side. Yep. All right. So now you see there and there. It's not too much meat. You want to get where the meat is. So get it right there. Find the meat because that's where it's going to sit and marinate the most. You don't want to find where it's bone and you're not seasoning nothing but the bone. So now we're in the back. You want to get that thigh on this side. Bam. And then you want to get that thigh on this side. You got to get comfortable with your bird now. And bam. And then you want to do it again over there. Okay. So... Again, we got a couple of parts that a lot of people miss because they don't understand if you don't season those parts, you're not getting that full seasoning all the way through. So we're going to get up under here. You see you see where I'm getting at? Up under here, the wing. Up under here. And get that bird. Bam. You see that? All that's going into that bird. On the other side, you want to do the same thing. So now, we still have extra left which is a marvelous marvelous thing and we got a bird that's been seasoned now see water's coming out but no butter and i also want to take the time to get in here because that's another place people miss right put a little more you know I, the purpose of this is to make sure the bird has the butter in it but when you fry it the butter minimally if any comes out and you'll sit through while I fry it too tomorrow. So you'll see the whole process at work. Isn't that fun? Okay, so now again, like I said, I want to get in here. Bam. Yeah, we're going to pump that turkey up. And something tells me I want to just do the middle part of that again. We got some in there. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am happy with my seasoning of my bird. And now, guess what? My baby is about to go back to uh, in the refrigerator for another day, at least. And this is just going to sit in here. And if you're not seasoning your turkey that well in advance, I don't know what to tell you. Good luck. <laughs> nah. So now, excuse me. I'm such a lady. So now, it's time to put this bird in the bag. So that it can keep all its seasonings and all that good stuff in place. So, uh, open it up this bag. And you see it's a turkey bag. You can't just go get any regular bag. It has to be an oven baking turkey bag. I'm telling you now. So, let's not forget that. <laughs> oh, one more thing before we put this uh, beautiful turkey in here. I'm going to put these legs back here. Yeah, I know. Bop and bop. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah, I can leave that out. That's not a big deal. It really isn't. You can tuck it if you like. You know, turkey ain't going to die. It's already there, but a hey. minor detail. So now, take your time. Lift the turkey up from the bottom, top, whatever, but just lift it up to slide it in. And then take the other half and do the same. Nestle that bird. Pray over it. Whatever you do to make sure... You know, you're at peace with this process. So now, take this at the top, turn it around. You want this as tight as you can get to get all the air out. Hold up, I see a little more air in it. 
And I just say that because, you know, you don't want anything to come between you and getting this turkey right. All right. So then, I don't know. It doesn't matter. There's no technique to tying, but just make sure it's tight. You put this twist tie on and it locks. You see there how I'm doing this? Because uh, I don't want anybody asking me in the comments. And I absolutely go subscribe, follow, turn on your alerts. Because when I get to cooking, it's sporadic because of my time. And I'm going to take that knot out because it's just too big. It ain't working with me like I wanted to. So then I'm going in here. I think that's a good enough slot. Make sure that's tight. Yeah. So now you got your bird. Bow, bow, bow. And guess what? And it doesn't matter. You see, I put it in the bag. It wasn't absolutely, you know, the perfect. But this bird is ready to go. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Stay tuned and watch me fry this mug tomorrow. And let's see the comments on the feed once, you know, these customers eat this infused hemp turkey. You ready? I'm ready. Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble.